So in the trailer for the episode 5 of The Ones Who Live, we see a mysterious character, like an outline or a shadow, or like the behind of a, of a character. Um, in the new, next episode, that's coming on Sunday, um, and there's quite a few possibilities of who this character could be, and um, perhaps a, a returning character uh, from the main show, um, because Scott Gimple has said before the show started that there will be a character from the main show... Um, from the main Walking Dead show that will appear in The Ones Who Live. Now, um, maybe that could have been Jadis, who he was referring to, uh, but we already knew Jadis was going to be in the show for a very long time, so I think that would, wouldn't would be correct, and I don't think that would be right. So I think that there is going to be a character that returns, and there are quite a few that makes the most sense um, for who that character may be from the main show. Uh, there are quite a few people that have said some characters that could return as well that I will mention, but I don't think will happen because I just don't think it really makes sense. But uh, yeah, if you do enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and let's get straight into it. So th there are many characters, right? So episode five trailer, we saw that there is an outline uh, we, where we see the behind of a character and we we do know that Jadis is going to be in this episode quite a lot. Um we know that this is this could possibly be Jadis's last episode in the Walking Dead universe. She could potentially die in this episode. There are quite a few uh, images from this episode uh, that could indicate to that actually happening in this episode. Um, so this character could well be Jadis because we know she's going to appear in this episode. And it would make sense if that character is Jadis. But something tells me that it, it isn't because of just the way the character is built from from what, what we're just looking at from behind. It doesn't look like Jadis, Jadis from uh, what we see. It doesn't really look like her, um, her I guess, body, her body from behind. It looks a lot bigger. Um, and I think that it, it could potentially be Morgan, it, it very well could be, but I think it would just make more sense if Morgan returns in episode 6 in the finale, probably at the end, just because I, don't, I wouldn't see much point of him returning episode 5 if Rick and Michonne are going to go back to the CRM. Um, so it could, it could be Morgan, you know, the character build does, it could refer to Morgan, you know, it does look very much like Morgan's, I guess, like, build, you could say. Um, but realistically i think they would save morgan for the last episode so I, I really don't think that this is morgan um now there there is a character i have in mind which i would absolutely love to see uh, a character from world beyond which is a very controversial spin-off in the walking dead universe um but i i, I think he's one of the best things to come out of the world beyond sh uh, series and that is um uh, Silas. Now, Silas, we saw quite a bit in World Beyond. Started out with, you know, the group of the kids that we saw. And then, you know, he made his way into the CRM. And the reason I say this is because he has a very big link to Jadis. You know, in season two, that's when he really starts to become an interesting character within the CRM and his story in the CRM. At the end, we see him as a CRM soldier and he got into that through Jadis. Um, we know that he is very conflicted within the CRM and he's doing this because, you know, he feels, well, he has to, basically. Um, but, you know, he, he does have a very, very, very big link to Jadis uh, in his story. And obviously Jadis was in World Beyond quite a lot and she's in this show. So I think if Silas does return, it would make the most sense. And it is certainly a character that fans really do want to see come back and would see, would love to see in The Ones Who Live. I, I would definitely love to see him in the show. I think his character is very cool. His, his growth in World Beyond was really awesome to see. And it just makes sense because of his link to Jadis. And, you know, the body type does sort of, re uh, it does resemble uh, Silas a little bit. So, you know, it, it would make a lot of sense. He is a CRM soldier, so if he has been sent out by Jadis to try hunt down Rick and Michonne, because I don't think Jadis is going to fall for that that easy, that she thought they died with it in the helicopter crash in episode four. I do think that she, that's why, well, she's obviously looking in episode five. Um, so, yeah, I think these are the main characters that it could potentially be. Uh, someone did say Gabriel, um, which I was going to mention. Uh, I just don't think it makes much sense just because seeing uh, Gabriel with Rick and Michonne, uh, it, 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 I, I don't know, it just wouldn't really make much sense. I think the only reason people are saying that, uh, saying Gabriel could return in this show is literally just his link to, to Jadis. I think that's the only reason people are saying that he could return in The Ones Who Live, literally because, you know, Jadis has stokes in her, as our second name which is obviously gabriel stokes is his she took his second name so i think her link to gabriel is the only thing uh 
that really indicates that Gabriel, people saying that Gabriel returning, I don't think any, anything else really says that he will return in this. I think we will see him again in the future of The Walking Dead. I just think now isn't really the best time for it, just because, you know, it just wouldn't make sense for him to return in this. I just think that Morgan at the end of the show is most likely to return. Uh, you know, he is looking for Rick Grimes, as we heard him fear The Walking Dead in his last episode in that. So I think him returning in this show makes sense, just not in episode five, just because they're going to go back to the CRM, and I doubt Morgan's going to go back to the CRM as well. Um, so I think out of all these characters, I think, you know, it could very well much be Jadis. It could just be Jadis, and that would make the most sense. But them hiding that, um, hiding that and making it seem ominous i guess you could say to us and making it seem um unknown to us who it could be just doesn't really make why they would i don't see why they would do that uh if it was a character that we know is going to be in this episode because what well, jadis is in the trailer for episode five we do see her quite a lot we see the car chase scene we see the pictures and the images of her so we know this is going to be in episode five it's definitely not going to be in ep- the finale it's going to be in episode five and i don't get i don't see the p- reason why they would make it seem so unknown who this character would be if it's literally just jadis so i think it could if it's not jadis i think it very well it could certainly be uh silas because that would probably make the most sense uh, and then I think Morgan will return the finale, being the character that uh, Scott Gimple has said will be the character from the main show returning. Because I think he Morgan has a lot of connections, obviously, to Rick Grimes from the very beginning of The Walking Dead. But he also has a connection with Rick and Michonne being together as well, because he was with them season four, I think, season five or season three. I can't remember. But yeah, I think it just makes the most sense. So uh, I'd love to know what you guys think. Who do you think this mysterious character is in episode five? I I'm leaning towards Jadis or Silas. I just think that makes the most sense. But I'd love to hear what you think. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video today and I'll see you in the next one.